morning, good Saturday to you, Labelers of Life here, and uh, today we're going to do something different. Uh, now, um, YouTube has changed their policies on disassembling weapons for repairs and over cleaning, so I decided to uh, go and do a video on uh, cleaning the uh, Rossi 461. Uh, so, last week, guys, I uh, fired this uh, for the test, and I didn't, at the time, I didn't clean it. So there's been a total of over 200 rounds fired without cleaning. And so I thought today we'd uh, go ahead and uh, take it apart for cleaning. All right guys, before we get started, we have a few accruements we need. Uh, patch. This is for uh, running your patches. This is our uh, wire brush. Now the wire brush guys, um, I like to do is I don't go buy brushes every time they wear out. I take the old brushes like this and I take a bit of a, Tour boy or some other kind of a scrubbing uh, pad of some sort. And I take it apart, and basically what I do is I just wrap it around the uh, uh, the old brush, and that basically kind of adds a little bit of filler and uh, resistance to the uh, brush itself, so I can get a, a scrubbing going here. All right, so. Also, hops number nine. Now, this is a chiseler, a chisel. And what I did is I put a little piece of tape on it and uh, I'm gonna show you what this is for. All right, let's go ahead and disassemble. All right, so with this one here, uh, all I do is I untwist the uh, push rod, ejector rod, and remove it. All right, place that to the side. And then I take this here also also don't forget the uh, the straw extractor will fall out and uh, your spring so make sure those are together all right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the cylinder off you don't have to do it but I do it this way and the reason why I do it is because it's easy to remove so what you do you take a <clears throat> something like this even a flat screwdriver will work too put a little tape on it so you don't mar the uh, cylinder and basically what you do is you just put it under the, the, the crane here, just push it down, and voila, the cylinder comes right out. So inside your cylinder, you're gonna have the, um, recoil, the, the recoil spring, and put that aside, and you're gonna have a washer here, or the bearing washer. Okay, don't lose that, that's very important. And from here, you can start cleaning out your uh, internals. Alright, take the little hops number 9 here, we're going to start scrubbing out the uh, internals. You don't have to soak it, just you know, get a little bit on there. Get yourself a towel like this one here, and just scrub along like so. Make sure you're wearing gloves, you know. Cleaning solutions aren't something you want to get in your mouth. Alright, just let it soak for a while. And what's great, guys, about using um, powder coat bullets is that I don't have any leading uh, in the forcing cone area, so it's easy to scrub out and clean. All right, so let that sit there for a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and start on our cylinder. Same thing for our cylinder. Soak it up a little bit. Use a soft toothbrush, and this will soak up some of the carbon off the uh, cylinder on the insides as well. And taking off the cylinder just makes it a lot easier to clean. There we go. Alright. You can use any kind of cloth you want. Uh, paper towels. I, I like to use paper towels a lot. Uh, they seem to work better for me. Wipe it down a little bit. Get some of that carbon off there. Alright. And it does a pretty good job, as you see. Really good job. See, it's starting to shine up already a little bit. Alright. Put these tools aside now. That soak for a minute. Okay, so let's start on the barrel. Uh, since you can't uh, clean the barrel from the rear, you have to do it from the front, but you gotta be very careful not to destroy your crown. So make sure you keep your, uh, your crown uh, protected. And you just slowly go inside. There you go. And you don't have to go too far, especially for a snub nose, guys. It's, it's a short barrel. Just like keep your finger here and make sure the rod doesn't uh, scrape up the uh, uh, your crown. 
Okay, that's uh, very important for accuracy. And uh, guys, with the powder toting, you know, it's it's not like you're getting a lot of leading down there at all, or zero leading, but you're gonna get uh, powder coat residue and gunpowder. Okay, run a patch through there. There's some paper towels that'll work too. Nothing too fancy, you know. Same thing for the uh, rod. Just slowly, be careful. And we're gonna start on our cylinder. Same thing with our cylinder. Uh, I used to go from the inside out, and it looks like I can use some extra trail oil on there. Just push down in there. There we go. That works better. Much better. Okay, for the cylinders, you know, I have a uh, small, like a 30 caliber, uh, like a mop brush here, and I just put the, uh, the paper towel over it, like so, and it makes it easier to go in and out of the cylinders, see, without any kind of uh, issue. Again, guys, you don't have to be too fancy. It's just, uh, you're just wiping down the old uh, dirt out of there. All right, let's take a look. Now, if you have one of these in a 30, 30 uh, caliber or 36 caliber, a little bit bigger maybe uh, these will work great oh what I've done was uh, during my wash I would just throw these in the wash you know in my pockets and they will come up uh, white again so they last pretty good all right let's go ahead and get the barrel cleaned out again yeah same thing for the barrel too uh, because again uh, like I'm using uh, the uh, powder coat it doesn't really uh, dirty up the gun too much you're just getting a lot of carbon residue from the burnt gunpowder, pretty much. See how it looks down there, if you can get it. All right, beautiful. All right, guys, so uh, also I want to give a shout out to uh, Walter Bunning. Uh, take a look at his videos, guys. He's uh, got a good channel. And um, he asked me in a comment, well, I actually he saw a video of mine on the 380 uh, Firestorm. He, I think he believed, I believe he saw two of my videos and he made a little comments on the um, uh, the 102 grain Lee bullet that I used and uh, it got him inspired to start loading for the 380 and he was very interested in getting a, a Firestorm. Uh, so uh, Mr. Bunning, uh, thank you for your comments and uh, I subscribe to you of course. And so uh, this is for you. Uh, Alright guys, time to reassemble. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to place our bearing washer onto the uh, the yoke there and then this here will go on this end here and place your cylinder in like so and just snap it guys that's it done deal all right Alright, from there you're gonna put your star extractor in, like so. It only goes in one way. Alright. And then from there. Okay. Make sure you screw in your star extractor and your ejection rod. Alright. Alright. Looks good. Eject, eject, eject. There we go. My um, my ejecting rod, it's not um, tightened up all the way. I just finger tighten it. Rod. Um, so I, I like to keep mine uh, finger tight, so it, you know, it doesn't affect it too much. Just every now and then, I just gotta check it to make sure it's uh, uh, in there. But uh, there it is, guys. It's all nice and clean. Uh, so if uh, you have a Rossi, this is how you clean it. And uh, this is Lebos for Life here. If you like what you see, and you wanna see more, Please rate, subscribe, and make those comments. I'd like to hear what you gotta say. Anyways, you have a good Saturday. Let Buzz for Life. Signing off. We'll see you next time at the range or at the reloaded bench. Bye for now.